You know, um, the involvement of women in politics in our jurisdic jurisdiction may not meet the internationally required level. It becomes cheering to have a political party rooting for a female governorship running mate. This is without prejudice to a number of states that have female deputy governors as I speak. In River State, the African Democratic Congress, ADC, has nominated Nollywood actress Tonto Dike. Now, the pen name is Tonto Let. She is the running mate to the governorship flag bearer, Tonto, to, Tonte uh, Brave. Did I get that right? Braye. Oh, bra Braye? OK. Uh, she has promised a new lease of life for Rivers people. Uh, she has a plea, plea, though. Don't let my miserable story stop you from believing in love. And she adds, the future is now. Inka, um, the story is a cheering one. Um, but would women in River State listen to her? Yes. Um, coming from where we are, we are, I think is a very good one. Although, that, that's a pretty, you might pre look at pretty it, woman. Yeah. You mm -hmm. might look at it that uh, even the party she's running on. on is not very popular there. But don't be deceived. Okay. If the young people are really serious and they are really, and the women. C serious the women about fall, what? About a change. About trying one of their own. I think this might be an opportunity. But don't let us, don't, they, they should not make a mistake, because that is all, always that belief that uh, I don't want to throw away my vote, so let me vote the way every, I know everybody will vote. Mm. It won't, it won't, it, 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 it's not good. That one is not good again. That, we saw that in Canada, the Trudeau guy, yeah. the young guy. Yeah. We saw that in France. So I think it, is a, it might look like a comic relief, but for me, I think it is a very good thing that for, 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 for a change, let us see how it goes. Because in other parties now, in, in Nigeria now, I think we have just, I'm not sure we have up to three or four deputy governors that are women. Mm -hmm. I do not remember that one clearly. Yeah. But the others aren't. So there, there, there aren't too many. They aren't. So, mm -hmm. There is a very good thing, although it might be a far shot in the dark because ADC, what uh, mileage would ADC but, have? But, in, but again, I think I remember yes. that in Adamawa, a woman won the uh, gubernatorial ticket for yes. the APC. So that's another plus. That's another plus, but uh, as they always say, although women don't like you saying that, that women are the... There's a woman here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm. <laughs> women are we, the worst we, enemies we, of women, so I don't know whether. <laughs> Ibn Abo, is she right to the extent that in our politics, if a woman stands for election, the women folk would not gravitate towards her? It is, it is a mindset that, um, that is beginning to shift. Because um, if you look so, at so it, stereotypes like Yinka had, had uh, been keeping <laughs> them away. <laughs> I think it is gradually shifting okay. and um, it's shifting towards, um, you know, women supporting women. It will take a while. It's, it's not magic. It won't happen overnight. But I think we are inching towards that. Having said that, you know, it's interesting that um, Tonto DK is a running mate to Tonto Ibrahim in ADC party. And, but, but what I'm looking at is, you see, in politics, and in every other thing that we do, mm. when you want to assume a position of authority, it is, it is believed that you must have your antecedents. Mm. What are the things that she's bringing to the table? To the to table. The table. Mm. It, by the time the windows of campaign opens, what will she be telling the people? I know that she's an actress. She's a fantastic actress. She has had her own ups and downs and here and there. Yeah. But in terms of leadership, I, I maybe when she comes when, when she comes out proper, maybe she would probably acquaint us with a lot of things. But, because... but, but leadership here she is not just about politics. At Nollywood, she's a leader. It is it is where we see things, the way, way we view things in Nigeria. Yeah. Because when you come over, they will say, "Who is that person? And mm. what have you done?" Mm. Even in the River State, 
what have you done? These questions will come up, and I hope she's prepared. For me, I, I think I'm, I would embrace it. It's a, it's a very fantastic development. Mm. I mean, people could give it a shot. It is, it is, it's not strange. After all, Adamawa, uh, we are looking forward to a woman becoming governor next year in Adamawa. Elected. Yes, for we the hope. first time. Ah, it will be, it will be, it will be, <laughs> it will be great. Inka, you know, um, the late uh, Baroness Thatcher, you yes. know, the Iron, Iron, Iron lady, lady said, if you want anything said, ask a man. But if you want anything done, ask a woman. So I can't wait for the first governor, woman, deputy governor, woman. So let's stop. Let, let's not talk about stereotyping. But women, is it about women not exerting themselves or are men don't like their women to go out? Um, I think in our own time, it is more about men dismissing women. Yeah. You, 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 you see that even in offices, when a man has a woman as a boss, if anything happens, maybe behind her back, you say, I have a woman like her at home. You know that kind of a thing. Mm. So we, we, don't, uh, we don't sort of give that enough room or respect to women. Mm. But it's changing, though, but it will take time before it changes. Because uh, many people don't uh, still think that men have all the uh, power and all the wherewithal. I remember in most, when I was in primary school, secondary school, and part of my, even university, when you, in it's, class, you we, find out we, that women were trouncing, trouncing men. men. So we are these women today. Yeah. So sometimes he, 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 we, we even... Some of those women, when they trans men, people dismiss it and say, oh, it's because she's a woman. Maybe the lecturer likes her. Or, or some, something uh, like that. God help her if the lecturer of that course is mm. also a woman. They say it's because it's a, she's a woman. So there is that mindset, which is very, very wrong. But we see women that are great and good. Why don't we give them chance? In politics, it is worse because politicians are night men. Mm. They don't meet in the day. They meet in the night. And no man will want his wife to be out of the home in the night. But women can allow the men to be out of their home by night. You see where the problem lies. Listen, Ibn Abo <laughs> is our colleague, but she's a missus. She's married. Yes. Do you feel that way? You share the sentiment with him? Yes. You know, we, of course... That, that the men would want to keep you away from... The click lights and uh, the hassles of politicking. Most of the men, but we are beginning to have a, a shift in that direction as well. Because, um, I mean, you know, we live in a patriarchal society where men have been holding sway forever. Mm. So, but you know, the problem we are having is looking at politics. There is need for the leadership to understand this aspect of our lives, because we are co-signatory to the thirty-five percent affirmative action. Mm. But we can't see it. It's not translated in our poly, in, 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 in but, the but kind of politics we play in Nigeria. Are women assertive? That's the question here. Are they assertive enough? We have some women who are, but they are not being given this chance. It's either they are, they, excuses they, will come they, up. They are cowed or something? Excuses will come up. Mm. And sometimes they work on their husbands mm. to talk to their wives. So because I have a case of a woman who said, she was deep into, let me not mention the, uh, the name of the party. She said, mm. suddenly, her husband who had been, you know, cheering her yeah, on yeah. and yeah. on, then came home one day and started giving excuses why she shouldn't, why she should slow down and, and, and so on like that. So she was, she was perplexed. That why, why the sudden change of mind? Yeah. So, but in the course of investigation, she got, got to understand that, you know, underneath somebody was beating the drum. So, you know, these are some of the problems they have. Mm -hmm. But I want to believe that we are already inching towards the direction where we are going to be having more women in politics. Oh, yeah. In, in fact, uh, Inka, you, you'd agree that America had to wait 240 years to have a first female vice, vice president. president. 
So, so, so but, and some years back, they failed to vote for a female president. Uh, maybe it was not yet time. <laughs> okay, so, but, but women are also a part of the uh, human family. Oh, and yes. uh, in politics, we should allow them, I beg. Remember, I'm, I'm guided by what uh, Margaret Thatcher, Thatcher said. If you want a thing done, no, no, if, if you want a thing done, ask a man if you want a thing. No, no, if you want a thing said, said ask, ask a man. man. If you want a thing done, done ask the woman. I can't and, um, wait to... Yeah. Sorry, I tell people too that, you know, we are human beings. God gave us two legs. Mm. You can't be balanced on one leg. I don't. That's what Nigeria is what it is today. Mm. Because we have been trying to stand on one leg. The other leg is the woman. It's been about, picture Nigeria, uh, Yinka, picture, picture Nigeria as a man who stands next to a footbridge. Rather than go on the bridge, he likes to make a dash across mm. and gets knocked down. <laughs> you know, it's minus one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not talking about